Hi guys, I'm Rival. Today I'm going to be introducing you to Codeception Unit Tests with Laravel. So prerequisite, this video assumes the following. You have an understanding of automated tests. You have a basic understanding of PHP Unit. So introduction, Codeception is a testing framework. Out of the box, you get tools to write unit, functional and acceptance tests. Most of this presentation is derived from the Codeception documentation. You can also install Codeception with Composer. Codeception folder structure. Upon initialization, Codeception generates numerous folders and files. These files are placed within your test folder. The main folders you will work in are the unit, functional and acceptance folders. These are known as your test suites. Creating a test. The first two points on this slide are commands. The first command generates a classical PHP unit test. The second command will generate a file which enables you to use Codeception's helpers. Both commands will generate an example test in the tests unit folder. So here is an example of what the Codeception aided test will look like. Notice there are some differences. It's set of teardown or set up. There's before and after. So the before and after methods. These methods are aliases for PHP units set up and tear down. The actual set up and tear down methods are implemented by the parent class. They set up Codeception's sept files to be run as part of unit tests. Code put in these methods run before and after each test. So configuration. There is a config file named unit.suite.yaml. Within this file you can declare Codeception modules. Once you have updated this file you should run php codecept build. Writing unit tests. Codeception uses PHP unit for running tests. Any PHP unit test can be added to a Codeception test suite and then run. You can continue to write unit tests as you would in PHP unit. Codeception provides helpers to simplify common tasks. So thanks for watching guys. That was just part one. This will continue in part two.